tough man. You know me. Just, you know, uh, yeah, definitely me. Yeah, definitely me. How are those you guys? Uh, you know, hopefully we, like, we toughen up, you know. Uh, got, got, got to do the tough things in the game, so, you know, doing tough things in practice is going to be a benefit us. You need that? Do you guys need to toughen up? Has that been an issue, do you think? Uh, we got to be accountable for the mistakes we make. Sometimes we like to like to blame other people and instead of just looking in the mirror and saying, you know what, I did this, I, you know, and correcting ourselves. So, you know, that's part of toughening up, just owning up to your mistakes. Dana was saying on Sunday, I need to go back to fundamentals this week. He even said, like, passing and catching, like, the, the basics. Do you guys really get down to those nuts and bolts when you're trying to refine your streak? Uh, you passing and catching, he'll always say, is the most underrated uh, underrated skill in the game. So, you know, he definitely will have us do passing drills and just, you know, all the warm-up drills in the beginning, his focus is on running, passing, and catching because we're going to be a fast team and be able to do those things while playing fast. So, you know, yeah, he's talking about getting back to the fundamentals, you know, even defensively, uh, just trying to work on the fundamentals so, you know, we have something to fall back on. Been around him a long time when there weren't as many pieces on a team like this that were this athletic, but the teams before you have been pretty good on defense. What, yeah. What's changed this year? Uh, because we're so good on offense, you know, it, it could be we're just like, if somebody scores, it's all right, we're going to get it back with this bucket down here. And, you know, that happens usually in the first half. You know, we're just score, you know, bucket for bucket with the team. But, you know, you can't win like that. You got to get stopped, so. You were on this team last year when you went through that three-game losing streak against the same teams. Yeah. What can you fall back on from that experience for this team? Uh, you just got to come together. Uh, you know, when adversity sets in, you know, you can't start blaming people. You can't start uh, drifting come together and know that your teammates is there for you so you know you can start trusting them even more. That's what happened last year, you know, uh, we all talk about it and we all just, you know, started trusting each other even more. Is that something you address now? Yeah, yeah. You know, I definitely say that all the time. Every time we huddle up or whatever, we're just saying, you know, trust each other, trust each other, trust that the next guy's going to make that rotation, or that that guy's going to make that shot. You know, usually offensively we trust each other, but defensively we're not exactly trusting each other. You mentioned going shot for shot, you know, with the team sometimes. Can you slow down this offense even if you wanted to, to limit how many possessions of defense you have to defend on the other end? I would say we could, but that, you know, that's not our strong suit. Uh, we're a very fast team. We're not a big team. So I would say our, our strong suit would be to run up and down the floor. But, you know, if we're not, if we're not, if we're not executing our game plan, then we're going to have to take a step back and, try to do another way but you know we won 13 games with it so just because we lost three doesn't mean you know we can't do it we just have to you know get back to defense and, and really locking up because we show spurts so if we finally put that 40 minutes together on both ends of the floor then you know we'll be good so we just gotta we gotta put it together you mentioned not having a lot of size the beavers do have a lot of size they've got three big guys up there at the same time so how do you defend against a team that's gonna be bigger than you uh gang rebounding for one, you know, on the glass, they're real good on the glass. You know, call your Moreland, those are two beasts on the glass. So we're going to have to have two guys worry about them while the rest of us come and get the ball, you know. So, and we're going to have to, you know, double the post a little bit because, you know, uh, Collier is really good on that block. And, uh, you know, try to fight dribble penetration so they can't just dump it down to the defense and let, you know, somebody finish on it. So it's definitely tough, but, you know, we've, we've played size before, so we got to use our speed and, and, and our strengths to combat that. What do you, what does Civil War mean to you? Does it mean more? I mean, you're obviously not from the state, but does it feel like a big rivalry game to you? Yeah, to me it does. Uh, it may not be like that to some of the guys since their first year, but, you know, in-state in state rivalry, you know, 45 minutes away, it's got to mean something. And you, you get those bragging rights when you see those guys, too, you know, Roberto and all them, you know, you see them, they can't have that game on, you know, we won the Civil War, you know, we still the big brothers of it. You, do you know those, do you hang out with those guys, do you see those guys? Yeah, I've definitely them? seen them. Uh, I know that uh, Joe, Joe Young is good friends with uh, Eric Moreland. I think, I think they're from the same spot or something like that. So, you know, we definitely hung out with them before. They, you know, they came down here before and, and chilled with us. So, you mentioned Roberto and his back up scoring skill. What's the key to stopping him? Uh, don't let him get going with a, you know, with an easy shot. Make everything tough. 
last couple games, you know, we've had these guys kind of scoring us pretty easily, these guards, but they've always started the game off with like a wide open look. So it, it, a scorer like him, it's really important for him not to get, get that good look to start the game off. Mike mentioned kind of switching up some ball screens the way you guys defend it because Roberto in part is so good. Is that something you expect this Sunday? Yeah, you know, we can't let him get comfortable just coming off and guarding one way because a good player, you know, he's just going to start reading what we do and start picking apart our defense. So, yeah, we're just going to try to change it up on him so he doesn't get comfortable.